Hi, Lauren here from the Mohong Preserve, one of the education coordinators, and I have another nature nugget for you. Uh, today we are going to be looking for insects. We're going to do an insect survey. So it is uh, always something really fun to go and look for in most of the seasons. And as the flowers start to come out, we're gonna start seeing more and more insects and things that like to eat insects as well. So to do an insect survey, um, you do not have to have a net to catch things. Though if you do, you certainly can use one. There's a lot of great resources online on how to make one for yourself using a pillowcase and a wire hanger. Um, and maybe a broom handle. Um, so there are lots of ways that you can make a net, but you don't need a net. You can just use a few simple materials. Let me show you what I'm going to be using today. Using a box with a white piece of paper and a stick, I'm hitting a shrub. All right, looks like I got a lady beetle. Fun. I didn't have much luck doing that today, so I went looking at flowers and found a bee. <laughs> Then I went into the woods and I found a butterfly. Can you spot it? Oh, there it goes. <sighs> I didn't have much luck doing that either, so I decided to turn over some logs. All right, earthworm and an ant. Sometimes the insects just come to you. Found a fly. As spring turns to summer, we'll see more and more insects like bees, dragonflies, bugs, beetles, sometimes they're camouflaged, and of course, we'll find butterflies. Okay, so um, early on in the season, you aren't gonna find as many insects as you will later on in the season when we have more flowers going. You can find insects all the way through the autumn months. So keep looking even through September and October until those first freezes come. Um, and doing an insect survey, you can do it in lots of different ways. So um, you can see, you can shake out plants and see what falls into a box or on a white sheet. You can use a net to collect insects. You can, um, even just go looking on a hunt in your garden, looking at flowers, um, turning over logs to see what's living under there. And we all know that an insect has insect has three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen, and has six legs. Um, so that's how you know something is an insect. You can check out those body parts, observe them. You might um, also uh, find some things that are not insects, like you might find spiders or you might find some mites or something. Count the legs on them and the body parts so you know what you're looking for. There's lots of resources out there for helping you to identify some of the insects. There's field guides, there's great stuff online that you can look up what kind of creatures you have. Um, and I'll include a resource for, um, for identifying some major groups of insects along with this nature nugget. Um, so an insect are Survey. You can compare where you're finding the most insects. Are you finding most of them under logs? Are you finding most of them on the flowers? Are you finding most of them in tall grass or just on the ground? Um, so do lots of fun experiments. Ask, ask your, ch your children, your students, um, where are the most insects? Have them come up with a hypothesis about where they think they're going to be finding the most of the insects and then have them go out and see if they're right. See if they, uh, if they are right. Which method works the best? I don't know. Depends on the season, I suppose. It's all for them to find out and explore. So I encourage you to uh, get outside in your backyard, in your local park, in your neighborhood, just looking for insects. Do a little insect survey and see what's happening there. So many different kinds of insects. There's more of them than there are of us. So go out and explore. Until next time, bye.